Tony here. Welcome to the KISS Investing Trade of the Week. We're all about keeping it simple and today I'm going to show you a simple but powerful trade on a beaten down sector. If you'd like to buy something on the cheap, I have the perfect trade for you. The S&P 500 is composed by 11 different sectors, composed of 11 different sectors of the economy. These sectors include technology, XLK, financials, XLF, healthcare, XLV, industrials, XLI, communications, XLC, com consumer discretionary, XLY, consumer staples, XLP, materials, XLB, utilities, XLU, real estate, XLRE, and finally, our focus of today, energy, XLE. The worst two performing sectors, uh, as you can see, are both energy and financials. But today we will focus on the energy sector. This, ha this sector has been hurt a lot due to the reduced demand for fossil fuels. As you know, the pandemic has uh, made us use our cars less and uh, less airplanes are flying also, which uh, reduces the demand for oil. XLE is down a whopping 45% for the year. Wow. I want to take advantage of this uh, terrible down move to place a bullish trade on energy. I will show you Two, two separate trades, one with undefined risk that requires a little bit more capital and another one that has defined risk. Your profits are going to be smaller, but also uh, your losses will be defined and uh, you need less capital to do it. Very well, without further ado, let's get to the trade. By opening the best trading platform in the world tasty works and it's not only the best one it's the most simple and the most powerful trading platform you can have so here is the chart of the xle uh, of course it's not as low as it went in march around 24 dollars but it has come down from uh, a very high level of 47 to 32 and i think it's a good time to to get into the sector so first we go to the trade page and then I like to place trades between 35 and 75, even to 90 days. And I also like the monthly expirations. As you can see, uh, 69 days for November seems like a good place to start. Here, the Tastyworks platform shows us the expected move on the, of the underlying here in the little uh, orange area. And I like, if you're more aggressive, you could sell the 32 put or the 31 put or the 30 put or the 29 put like I'm going to do. The 29 put of course will give you a credit of a dollar and two cents as we can see here below but it's a more conservative trade that if you just sold the 32 put and uh, if you wanted to do that you can do that and you will collect two dollars and 17 cents and uh, of course almost double the trade that I'm proposing but the probability of profit is reduced considerably. This trade is called a naked put or, or, or a short put and this trade consists of selling one unit of the 29th strike in November as you can see here below we will collect one dollar and two cents and this trade has a capital requirement of two hundred and ninety dollars which is not bad if we're going to get a hundred dollars back it has a maximum loss if xle goes to zero of two thousand and eight hundred dollars which is almost impossible of course because energy is not going to go to zero max profit of a hundred and two dollars and a theta of 1.4 this means that every day uh, despite the movement on the underlying we will collect one dollar and 41 cents if the XLE doesn't move for that day. The delta has a 24 delta, which if it's a positive number, that means this is a bullish trade and we want uh, XLE to go up. It has a probability of profit of 75% and it has a probability of profit of 87% of collecting half of the credit received. As you know, if you want to be more conservative and only uh, take the trade off when you've collected 50%, which would be 51 cents, you would have an 87% probability of profit. Now let's take a look at how this trade looks graphically. As you can see, 
uh, the circle here is the price of the XLE right now and our put is way down here and all the green area what is showing us is all the area where we would make money that means yes XLE could come down even to 31 30 etc and we will still profit because our put is all the way down here to 29 and our break even of course is going to be the 29 put that we sold minus a dollar collected so we will break even at 28 and anything below 28 we will start losing some dinero so i like this trade and uh why not let's give it a shot now if uh if that buying power is uh too big for your portfolio i'm gonna give you an alter alternative so trade number two is going to be a more conservative trade where are we going to define our risk and we're going to define our risk by simply buying a too wide uh, long put down here and now this trade is no longer the naked 29 put this trade is now the 2927 short put vertical and for this trade we are only going to collect 34 cents yes 34 cents instead of the dollar 02 but the benefit of doing that is if XLE goes to zero, the maximum loss for this trade is only $166. And also the capital requirement for, for doing this trade is $166. Let's take a look at this trade graphically. As you can see, uh, it changes a little bit because we don't have undefined risk on the downside, but the, the overall look of it is uh, very similar. Again, the only difference is we are capping our losses down to 27. In the other example of trade number one, we could, if XLE went to zero, we would lose all our money, the $2,700. And in this example, we would only lose $166. But, but, you know, XLE is not gonna go to zero and we will only be collecting 34 cents. Uh, as you know, uh, mathematically correct trades we must collect a third of the width of the strikes and this is uh, a little bit less than that but uh, still if you if you like energy you want to put in a uh, conservative trade on this is the trade for you you choose whatever best suits your capital or your risk tolerance and of course once again, this is not a trade recommendation or suggestion. These are just trade ideas of what I'm doing in my own portfolio. Thank you very much for watching the trade of the week. Uh, please let me know in the comment section below what you think about this trade or if there's another beaten down sector that you would like me to focus on next week and try to play some trades on that sector for you guys. And uh, remember, energy is beaten down beating down hard and maybe it's a good opportunity maybe not nobody knows uh, the only thing i know is you gotta risk it to get the biscuit and please help me out a little bit by clicking like clicking subscribe it would help me a ton if you subscribe to the channel click the little bell as it uh, improves my ranking in youtube i wish you a very uh, safe weekend and good luck trading to everybody next week thank you